After its debut as weightlifting in the Tokyo 1964 Paralympic Games, the sport, now known as powerlifting, expanded from just male lifters with a spinal cord injury to include athletes with physical impairments that affect their lower limbs or hips, or athletes with short stature. Female powerlifters made their Paralympic debut in 2000. Powerlifting is the ultimate test of upper body strength, and you'll often see athletes lifting more than three times their own body weight. Powerlifters are split into 10 different categories based on body weight for each gender. Powerlifting consists of one discipline, a bench press. Unlike the able-bodied sport where athletes use their feet on the floor to assist the bench press, Paralympic athletes lie totally flat on a completely different style of bench. Each competitor has two minutes to complete their attempt. When the lifter has the bar under full control, they must wait until they receive the command, start. start. Then they have to lower the bar in a controlled manner Attention coaches, five minutes remaining for changes to the first attempt. So we are back and it is the team competition in Dubai. At this Dubai 2021 World Para Powerlifting World Cup. So we've got nine nations in this. Representing Peru. Noemi Vasquez Morena, Diego Guispe, Miel Garcia Trelles. Noemi Vasquez, Neil Garcia, Diego Quispe for Peru. Carlos Betancourt, Clara Fuentes, Oriana Turan for Venezuela. Representing United Arab Emirates, Moses Yudi. Host nation. United Arab Emirates with Moza. Al Ziyudi, Saif, Al Zabi, and Mohammed Khalis Alaf. Representing Kyrgyzstan, Mirgul Puratarajeva, Azizbek Zarimbek Ulu. Maxat Arkimbayev. So for Kyrgyzstan, Mirkul Polatieva, Maxat Agambayev, and Azizbek Samibek Ulu. Shunusov, Stanislav Shakyev and Gulam Kamambeeva for Kazakhstan. Each team has to have at least one woman, and as you'll have seen for Venezuela, they've got two with Doriana Turan and Clara Fuentes. Representing Cuba, Lady Rodriguez Rodriguez, Danilo Rodriguez Garcia, Oniger Jesus Draquefega. Lady Rodriguez, Danilo Rodriguez, and Onega Drake for Cuba. Representing Chile, Camila Campos, Jorge Carinao, Juan Carlos Garrido, 
Chile, Camila Campos, Jorge Carinao, and one Carlos Garrido. Nigeria, Thomas Kore, Innocent Namdi, and Omyin Yechi Mark, who really is making her mark on international para powerlifting. Some of the biggest names didn't travel, unfortunately. Francisco Antonio Paromeque Palacios. So, Colombia with Francisco Palameque, Cristina Poblador, and Fabio Torres. Attention, coaches, no more changes allowed to the first attempt. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the technical officials of the session. So it's like this, we have nine teams, the top four advance after the heat phase. Then we go into straight knockout. Two semi-finals to produce us a final and a bronze medal match. And the referee is judging a randomly drawn after each phase. There are no technical challenges or during the age coefficient used to calculate scores and when this was first competed for at the world championships in Nur Sultan in 2019 Egypt took the gold ahead of Brazil who are not here and Ukraine in third and in terms of the World Cups we've had so far it's been done in Manchester Uzbekistan won that, they also won in Tbilisi. Ukraine was second and Manchester, France third there. And in Tbilisi, Brazil took the silver and Hungary were third. The left side referee from Greece, Nikolaos Kazantzis. Nikolaos Kazantzis from Greece is our first referee. Here's the selection of the second. Right side referee from Jordan, Azam Azabi. Azam Azabi, Jordan. So this is what we have, and it's kind of like a relay. And you might just remember when the World Championships were had one year, one of the nations having got a lift, let's say, of about 100 from their female lifter, then mistakenly put her down for the next one for 105, except it went to one of their bigger male lifters and it absolutely messed up their competition and the scores went completely awry. New event, which definitely the athletes seem to utterly love. Team competition isn't something they've had a chance to compete in previously. Well, now they do. So here's our referees, uh, graphically for you, Al Koresh, Kazantis and Al Zubi are our terrific trio. Well, this is the body weight and all of our contenders. So take note of that.
body weights too. Nigeria lot one, Peru two, Colombia three, Venezuela four, Kazakhstan five, United Arab Emirates six, Kyrgyzstan, the Kyrgyz Republic will see seventh, Chile eighth, and Cuba ninth. We have nine teams from nine different countries competing this afternoon. Mixed between males and females. And the highest ranked with points team will win the medals of this event based on age formula. Let's enjoy the competition safely, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of action will happen, a lot of fun. It's a mixed team event, it's a teamwork, and the best team will be on the podium. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let the show begin, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of action is happening here in Dubai, 11 Fazar, para powerlifting. World Cup, uh, the first attempt, and the bar is loaded, representing Peru, Noemi Vasquez Molina. So Noemi Vasquez is first to go. The Peruvian lady will start and aiming for 45. Noemi Vasquez Molina. Saw in the women's 50 kg event. The Pan Am bronze medalist and gold in Bogota in the World Cup. One minute. Here she comes. And she has got it. It's a good lift. Uh, two to one in her favor, so that's good news. And the obvious thing to consider with this is not to go for the heaviest weight that you possibly can, but one that you can definitely get so that all three lifts are good, that your team can go three for three. The highest points team will win this competition. When the points are combined, and any lift that's missed, well, it really does majorly thwart the opportunity you have of taking the honors. A lot of fun, a lot of action, and more powerlifting for her first attempt representing the Venezuelan team, Oriana del Carmen Terran Velasquez. And in a lot of cases, we'll have the women going first, but that won't always be the case. It'll be obvious to you as it goes on. But... Venezuela, Oriana Taran, and she is aiming for 65. Ladies first. And we're going up in terms of weight and a round by round basis. Oriana Turan had a bit of bad luck in her competition, but she's got a good lift here. That's 65. A good 
And it's uh, white out and well, she'd have loved to have done that in her own competition, but hey. That gives the United Arab Emirates team, Moza Zayoudi. Yalla Moza. Ladies first, Yalla Yabatala. United Arab Emirates, Moza Al-Zayoudi. Going for 70 kg. That will put the UAE team on the top of the ranking. Come on. Asian Games ninth place, sir. Uh, she is the reigning West Asian Games champion. That from two years ago. The next West Asian Games are on in is Bahrain early next year. So 70 to put the United Arab Emirates in front, but it's really early days. It will clear itself up the further we go on and that's a good lift the united arab emirates in the front nice lift for 70. it's very exciting ladies and gentlemen this teamwork and the part of our Olympic teams. The body is loaded for her first attempt from the Kyrgyz team, Mirgul Puratarayeva. Come on, Mirgul. Mirgul with 73 kilograms. Mirgul Puratarayeva of Kyrgyzstan is looking to lift 73. The strongest power lifter in Bishkek. The put the Kyrgyz Republic in front. Come on. Let's do it. So first event, no majors to a name, based in Bishkek. Easy, Margul, you can make it. 73 kilograms. this to put Kyrgyzstan into the lead and get them off the mark and essentially with all three lifters per team you want them all to score if the lighter weights are miss and there's a chance of making up with the heavier ones but then those heavier weights are gonna have to be a bit more heavy than were anticipated so Bonatieva for Kyrgyzstan for 73 And she's got that too. Two out of three in favour. Kyrgyzstan leading on 73. United Arab Emirates 70. Venezuela 65. But a long, long way to go to reach the top four. The music is run by Hectorino Martinez, by the way. We've heard it all week, and by this stage it kind of feels like it's been around for 15 or 20 years. And that I've heard it at loads of events. It was released this year. It immediately sounds very familiar. Gulim Kamambieva of Kazakhstan comes next. She competed in the 45 kg and won the silver here. She lifted 85. Each lifter will contribute to the achievement. Be on the podium. Qualify in the top down.
This for 84. It is no lift. Now that was a kilo under. That was won her a medal in her own individual competition and she went too high. So it's no lift and Kazakhstan are in big trouble. Eighty was manageable probably. Lifetime best can also be set here, but realistically, they would be major gambles in a team event. The bar is loaded for the first attempt representing Cuba. Lady Rodriguez Rodriguez. Come on, lady. 92 kilograms. You can Next up for Cuba, Lady Rodriguez aiming for 92. As Cuba come onto stage. It's a team war, ladies and gentlemen. And the team with the high score of 25. Second round, and the final. Come on, lady. Easy one, 92 kilograms. Vamos. In the 41 kg on the opening day, lady was. World Championship Silver in 2017. Pan Am Gold 2018 and Silver in the two Americas Championships that we have had. So 92 for the lead. Pushing. And she's missed out as well. Cuba failed to score just like Kazakhstan. One zero five on the bar, ranked by fourteen, and they're in trouble as well. Well, well, well. The bar is loaded. So what I was saying earlier about going a bit conservatively, get something that you can do instead of getting something massive, and less can go wrong. Come on, Camila. Camilla Campos for Chile going for 105. Fifth in the women's 55 kg. Decider. Campos lifted 113 there. So going for 105 here, which was less than a first round effort individually. So that's good and conservative enough. The reigning America's champion from 2018, fifth in the last Worlds, on the way to her first Paralympic Games coming in Tokyo. It'll be a big lead if this is given. Maybe we're going to flags. Good. She's got it. Well flags it is, 105. And they have a whopping lead over Kyrgyzstan, who are down on 73 now in second place because Cuba and Kazakhstan both missed. Team Chile on the lead with 106 points. 
Nailed that, no problem, and Chile have got a whopping lead. And those who had gone before them miscalculated, I'm afraid to say, so far. The bar is loaded for his first attempt representing Team Nigeria, Namdi Innocent. Come on, Namdi. Go now to Nigeria, and it is the first male lifter going in this first round for 200. It's good to have women who can lift a huge amount. Um, here comes Innocent Namdi. Aiming for 200, a serious amount. It was a much curtailed Nigerian team compared to what was being expected. Some of their bigger names didn't come, some of their bigger names did. The African champion who competed in the men's 72 kg events Won the bronze medal here gloriously. One minute. Trying to keep it steady, but it is no lift. They've missed out, and they thought that if they got that, they'd have had a major advantage at the top of the standings, and it has not come to be. So they're left without a mark. A whopping 200 means that their other scores are going to be bigger. The bar is loaded for their first attempted attempt. scores anyway. Team Colombia, Fabio Torres. Come on Fabio, 220 kilograms on the bar. Vamos. Fabio Torres going in for 220. Torres gets a good lift at 220. That is round one done. 
Venezuela in the fourth place with 74 points. And United Arab Emirates in fourth place with 72 points. So here are our scores. Nigeria, Kazakhstan, Cuba haven't got a mark yet. Colombia in the lead by three points from Chile, Venezuela third, United Arab Emirates fourth, ahead of Kyrgyzstan and Peru. And you'll see that the weights are converted into points. Kazakhstan have withdrawn, as you've heard. They got their first round absolutely wrong. Kaman Bieva went in high on 84, didn't lift, and it's more than likely too hard for them now. They, you need a complete set. You need all three lifters to be successful. The body is loaded. No. The bar is loaded for their second attempt, representing Team Venezuela, Clara Saray Fuentes Monasterio. Clara Fuentes, two Come women on, Clara, in the Venezuelan Clara, team. You can make it easy one. Clara Fuentes finishing fourth in the women's 41 kg final, the Pan Am bronze medalist in Lima from Club Phoenix in Caracas, Clarita. Fifth in the world championships in Mexico City. We didn't see her in Nur Sultan, but hopefully we will do an Eger. So Fuentes for 90. The AH coefficient used to calculate scores for each lift. She's got it. She's got it at 90. A white out. Zamabek Ulu, and what an impressive young man this Kyrgyz athlete is. Top junior, looks like he's going to go a long way. We saw him in the men's. 54 kg, fourth in the World Juniors two years ago. But he's still eligible on the 1st of December in Ege in Hungary.
And that puts them in a strong position. Danilo Rodriguez, the second lifter for Cuba, they've not withdrawn despite the fact they missed their first round lift from Leida Rodriguez. He was in the men's 65 kg, he's Pan Am champion from 2015, fourth. Two previous championships and fourth in the Paralympic Games. Fourth in the first Pan Ams to offer para powerlifting in 2007 in Rio. At 120. Good lift. 120 kilograms. Well done, Danilo. Three white mics. He's got it. A white tag. Three out of three. Diego Kispe is next and he's going for 121. Peru is number seven on the ranking. Put them at the top of the ranking. Do it. 121 kilograms. Diego Kispe. Seu campeón. Do it. Easy. Six in the Pan Ams in Lima. No mark when he came to France and Berksemer for the European Open. The 22 year old. Finished seventh in the men's 54 kg final. Kispay gets it. Last belting lift, Peru stay in the hunt. Saif Al Zabi for the United Arab Emirates. UAE is the only team from the Middle East region. 149 kilograms on the bar. Come on, Sawaf. UAE is number seven on the ranking. Put them back. For 149. Qualify to next round. 149 kilograms. Easy. Yalla, Badr Sawaf, shit hairak. That's clean, Abby. 
بسم الله Good lift for Osabi, two out of three. Well done, you is leading in the first place at the moment. What a wonderful confidence, ladies and gentlemen. You are in for 220 points in the first place. Followed by Colombia, 189, Kyrgyzstan third with 185, and Peru in fourth place, 180 points. Teamwork between these boys and girls to be the best lifter in the world. The body is loaded for their second attempt representing Team Chile, Jorge Carriano. Come on, Jorge. 170 kilograms on the bar. Vamos. Good. Team Chile is number seven on the ranking. So now it's next, 170. So if we've got this right, this is worth 181 and a half points. One minute. Good. He's got it. Well done, Jorge. 170 kilograms. All three in favour, a whiteout for Karanao, the current America's champion and former champion in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, the best four teams will qualify to the knockout round. We remind you that Kazakhstan team withdrew from the competition, so only eight teams are competing at the moment. For their second attempt, representing Team Nigeria, Thomas Kure. Thomas Kure next for Nigeria. Come on, Thomas, 182 kilograms. Easy one for you. And he's uh, aiming for 182 here. You are strong. You can make it. What a confidence. Easy. Yes, you are strong, I know. 182 kilograms. Apparently, this is worth 189 points Team Nigeria, to add to their uh, first round tally. Come on, you can make it, Thomas. Easy. Yes. Let's do it. 182 kilograms. Which was a miss by Innocent Namdi. This is to get them back up the table again, if possible. Good. Gets it. Right, that gets them back in the hunt a little bit. That's 189 points for Kure, which is great for him and great for Nigeria after their error in the opening round and going too high. The ball is loaded for their second attempt. Representing Team Colombia, Francisco Tonio Palomeque Palacios. Never seen him in a major championship performance. There's a good chance we will. 
subsequently. So Francesco Palameke coming now for 185 kilos. This for Colombia. They're going for 173 points here with this lift of 185. And Torres had scored 189 points in the first round. This will send their score up to around 370. And they had a massive lead of it's about 80 points over Chile after the opening round. And uh, he's got it! Colombia are looking very good for a place in the semi-finals. You did it! That's the end of round two. Let's see if we can bring you the exact scores. Kyrgyzstan 185, Peru 180, and Venezuela 180. Cuba in eighth place with 126 points. Please note about 80 kilograms, back height three. The bar is loaded for their third Camilla. attempt. Miller, can I see your notes? Cristina Poblador Granados. Vamos, Cristina. 80 kilograms. Come on, little girl. You can make it. Easy one for you. So we go into round three. And this is Cristina Poblador who's going for 80. 80 kilograms. That will put the Colombian team in a good position. They are first at the moment. Vamos, Cristina. Hundred and five points it looks like this is going to be worth for Poblador. The America's champion of 2018. Well, that's looking really good for Colombia. They are surely in the top four and on their way to the semi finals. What a competition, ladies and gentlemen. That was Colombia in the first place with 458 points. They are leading. Followed by the Nigerian team now. 120 kilograms on the bar for their last attempt. Team Nigeria, they are trying to be at the top of the ranking. They missed their first attempt. Now they are trying to come back. And the bar is loaded for the third and last attempt, representing Team Nigeria, Onyechi Mark. Onyechi Mark for Nigeria. You can make it. The winner of the women's 55 kg event, the junior world record holder, getting very close to the senior world record. And she's going for 120 here. That's going to be worth 134 points. Do it. 
Nigeria stuck on 189 points at the moment. This would send them up to around 340. Go to the flags. That's a good lift. So she's got 134 points. She's a really good competitor on her way to big stuff, no doubt about it. That puts them to around 330 points. Garcia Trellez for Peru. 59 kg we saw him in. Fifth in the Pan Am's final. He's going for 145 here. So he's aiming for 154 points here, and I reckon if he gets to that, he should be good enough for the top four. Uh, would leave them on 335 points, roughly. So he's got it. Peru go to 335 points. They go second behind Columbia here on 458. And we've had three of the nine teams complete their round. Going for 155 here for Venezuela. Bronze in the Pan Ams and gold in the World Cup in Lima. Same year of 2019. This should be worth around 147 points. Easy. Which would leave them on 326. That'd be high. That'd put them just below Peru. I reckon into third place. No. It's okay, Carlos. No. Well done. If Venezuela will not proceed to the knockout round. So Venezuela is stuck on 180, and it's hard to see them going through.
Paris loaded for their third and last attempt representing Team Cuba, Oniger Jesus Draghi Vega. Draghi Vega next for Cuba. Oniger, 165 kilograms on the bar. Lots of mental arithmetic going on here. I'm really sorry about this. Anyway, Colombia, I take it at leading on 458. Peru second on 335. Nigeria third and 312. Venezuela currently fourth on 180. Uh, on again, Jack of Vega now. America's champion, 165. He's going for Cuba. So this should be worth 148 points. Cuba currently on 126 because they missed their uh, opening attempt from Lady Rodriguez. So if he gets this, they'll be left on 274-ish. And uh, that's what's happened. And it's a whiteout, and it's three out of three for Jackie Vega. And they go fourth. They've got three nations to lift UAE, Kyrgyzstan, Chile. Team Chile, Juan Carlos Garrido. Juan Carlos Garrido coming now. <laughs> Lifting 170 and the great perennial champion. 188 He's got it. 170 kilograms. She is leading at the moment. 470 kilograms. 470, I think they're on now. But this will put them top. With uh, the United Arab Emirates left to go. So at the moment, the top four look to be Chile, Colombia, Peru. And Nigeria, 312 for Nigeria. The United Arab Emirates will be the last to lift. Kyrgyzstan. Knock you on the door in fifth. Agam Bayev going for 175. I reckon this will be worth 162 points for them, which would put them on to 347, and they jump above Peru. Oh, 
And if he gets it, no, he hasn't. They miss out. Tough luck for Arkham Fire. So they end up on 185 points. Anybody who's had a miss will not be in the top four. At the moment, Nigeria are fourth and 312. Thanks to our very rough and unbelievably rudimentary calculations. The body is loaded. The United Arab Emirates can still nick a spot here. Team United Arab Emirates, the legion, the champion, the hero. The great the Mohammed Khalis Khalaf coming now. So they can't make the top four with this. He gets 180 points exactly if they score this. They're on 220 anyway, so this would put them on 400. It would be the third highest tally. Chile and Colombia are definitely there. Peru are in third. Nigeria fourth. Nigeria set to drop out if this is good. So if he makes it, the United Arab Emirates are in the semi finals, and they are. Two out of three, he has made it. That'll put them just about on 400 points. United Arab Emirates are into the semi finals. Chile and Colombia scoring highly. The United Arab Emirates, the only other nation to go over the 400 mark. And Nigeria, they miss out because they missed their first lift. And they put in a Sanamdi in the 200, which was too high. Qualification round, ladies and gentlemen, the first place team Chile, 470 points. Second, Colombia, 458. So here are your scores. 470 for Chile, 458 for Colombia, 400 for the United Arab Emirates, 335 for Peru. Nigeria miss out on 312. For the knockout round, Cuba on 275. Kyrgyzstan 185. And, Dubai sports and Venezuela on 180, which is pretty much what we told you. But it's good to have it in graphic form and you can absorb that. Chile, Colombia, United Arab Emirates, Peru are into the semi finals. Is our ultimate star of the future. So the knockout match B will be between Chile and Colombia. So Chile faced Colombia in the first semi-final. Means it's the United Arab Emirates and Peru in semi-final two.
Main Street and ladies and gentlemen, not think so hard. Still a lot of action happening on the stage this afternoon. With the knockout round. The referees for the knockout round. So there will be at least one South American nation in the final and maybe two. Chile against Colombia in semi-final one is on the way. Peru against the United Arab Emirates next. So you look at the strong lifting nations, Nigeria, Cuba, Venezuela didn't make it. And here's our selection for the referees for semi-final one, Maria Malaya. Aida Arabe and Corrado Brunacci. The excitement builds ahead of the semi-finals. Ladies and gentlemen, the teams for what we Chile versus Colombia. Ladies and gentlemen, the teams competing in the Mixed Team event knock out match B. Representing well, Chile. Here we go. Semi final two. 
Chile against Colombia. Camila Campos, Jorge Caranao, and Carlos Carrillo for Chile. And for Colombia, Cristina Poblador, Francesco Palameque, and Fabio Torres. Ladies and gentlemen, the teams competing in the mix of team event, the knockout match A. And for the other semi final, United Arab Emirates against Peru. UAE, Moza Al Ziyudi, Saif Al Zabi, and Mohamed Khalis Khalaf. For Peru, Nomi Vasquez, Neil Garcia, Teles, and Diego Kispe. So same story in this, and if you are just joining us, we're heading into the semi-finals of the mixed team competition. Chile with the top scorers. Colombia second highest, Chile 470 points, Colombia 458. United Arab Emirates third and 400, and Peru 335. And in the open draw, it's not first against fourth or anything like that, it is first against second. Chile and Colombia came out together and the United Arab Emirates and Peru likewise. And had Nigeria got that opening lip from Innocent Namdi of 200, then they probably would have had the highest score. Pretty confident of that. Went for 200 in the opening round. That would have been worth 194 points. Nigeria would have finished on 506. So they'd have been the highest scorers. So if they'd asked them to go a bit lower, then they'd have made it.
We'll never know about Kazakhstan because they missed their first lift through Gulam Command Beeva and then simply withdrew the rest of their lifters. Cuba finished sixth and they missed their first lift through Lady Rodriguez. I think that would have gained them 110 points. So they'd have finished on 384. And they'd have edged out Peru, actually. If uh, Rodriguez had been successful and Nigeria still weren't. So the four teams through to the semi finals are the only four teams who did not have a miss. They were all three from three and they've all made it and the rest had a slip up along the way and the rest all missed out. See with Kyrgyzstan as well. Uh, their one miss coming from Argumbayev at 175, that would have gained them 162 points. And again, they would have finished above Peru. Uh, Venezuela, hey, Venezuela finished 8th on 180, so Carlos Betancourt went for 155 and we've just put his result through the generator, that would have been 159 points, had he got it they'd have had 339, they'd have edged out Peru by 4 and they'd be in it, so literally everybody who had a miss, if they'd scored would have got in ahead of Peru, but Peru are in the semi-finals and the rest are not, because they chose their target wisely.
Ladies and gentlemen, we will start the match between Colombia and Chile, and the bar is loaded. The bar is loaded for her first attempt representing Team Colombia, Cristina Poblador Granados. So, Cristina Poblador. 90 kilograms on the bar. You're smiling again, I know. We're Going for 90. Easy. 90 kilograms. She's the first to go. So this is worth 107 points for Colombia. And points mean prizes. She hasn't got it. She has not got it. So that is a massive problem for Colombia and it gives Chile a big chance. Pablo Dora finished seventh in the 41 kg final. And she had started on 90 in that, and she had two misses, and she got 91 in that final. She went for 90 here. So 105, the target for Camilla Campos, who finished fifth in her final. You did it in the first round, you can do it again. Focus, 1.05. This is going to be worth 106.94. Good. Campos has got it. The America's champion who finished fifth in the 55 kg final. So, off the mark. Good lift. And Chile have the lead. That's the women lifters done. Lift one of three. Jorge Caranao to go for 173. Palameke will go for 195. The bar is loaded for their second attempt representing Team Chile. Jorge Carinao. 173 kilograms. Come on, Jorge. So 173 kilograms. 
is worth 184.7. We will put them onto a tally of 291. Going upwards in terms of bar weight in this, by the way. Palameke is going for heavier than Karanao, but because they're in different weight categories, the points work out differently. Karanao is actually going for more points in this than Palameke is. So, Jorge Karen out. The America's champion, Pan Am Gold in 2015 in Toronto. Saw him with the men's 65 kg. Going for 173 here. I think we're going to the flags. So, we need the wide shot to see the flags. You saw enough of the flags, he got it. So, 184.7 he's got, 291.64 is the Chilean score. Halameke is going for a heavier weight but lower points. Don't know if he wants to put a couple more onto the bar because of that. Palameke is going for 195 for Colombia. The winner will qualify to the final match. The Pan Am champion was in the 80 kg. Team Colombia, Francisco Tulio Palomeque Palacios. Palomeque with the bronze medal in the 80 kg final. He's going for 195 here. He went for 196 in round two and missed and got it at the third attempt, having cleared 191 in the opening round. So he did get the bronze there. 195 is quite high compared to what he succeeded with. His lifetime best, 205. Do it, 195 kilograms. We should be seeing him in Tokyo. But we should be seeing him lift this because if he doesn't, then there is no way Colombia can make the final. They've already missed their first lift through Christina Poblador, who went for 90, which was quite high for her compared to what she's lifted during this World Cup. Francisco Palameque, this is the make or break one. Has to lift this to keep Colombia in with a chance of the final. And he has got it. He has got it. Well, they're back competitive again. So the score for Colombia now 182.67. And for Chile, it's 291.64. We're going to the final lift for both. So 291 for Chile, 182 
for Colombia. That's the scoreline for now. As we go into the final lifts, that will decide who goes into the final and the gold medal match. The body is loaded for the third and last attempt, representing Team Chile, Juan Carlos Garrido. Power one, 173 kilograms again. Who can make it? So Juan Carlos Garrido, our perennial champion, who lifted 170 in the heats, is going for 173 here. So if he gets this, this is worth 185 points and it will put them into the final. They'll have had three successful lifts to Colombia's two, presuming that Fabio Torres gets his. But the lead would be too immense, so it would be almost 300 points and I, I don't want to even calculate how heavy a weight it would have to be. So Colombia need Garrido to miss, for Garrido to score, then Chile are in the final. Good. Well and they've made it! Three white sides. That was an easy one. For a white out for Juan Carlos Garrido and Chile have made it. Torres was going to go for 225 in the final round, but the horses pulled, and I made that 477 points, 477.34. And Colombia going for 225 in terms of the lift. So I make uh, the Torres attempt as being worth 194 points and it won't be enough. Chile's lead is too much. 194.03. It basically needs to lift 340 kilos to get the points to reach the final. Okay. You started with 220 in the first round. So 225 kilos going for 194 points for a respectable tally, but because they missed the first round attempt, it just ruined everything for them in the end. So to round off Colombia's competition, they will be in the bronze medal match against the losers of Peru against the United Arab Emirates. It'd be good for him to get it anyway, and good for Colombia. Well, that's torn it. They finish with 182 points and they are in the bronze medal match and Chile are into the final. You will play for the third place game. Felicitations. You are a great team. You tried your best. 182.67 for Colombia in the end. They missed two of their three lifts. Just went in too heavy. Now, if and it's, it's, a, it's a 
it's a ginormous if. It's an if the size of the moon. And if they got those two lifts from Pablo Dorian Torres, they would have been in the final. They'd have got just about enough points. They'd have beaten Chile by eight points, but they didn't get the lifts, didn't get the points, and they're in the bronze medal match. Chile in the final for the first time ever in the history of the team competition. And Colombia have never actually won a medal in the team competition, so they'll be fighting against either Peru or the United Arab Emirates. And likewise, neither of these two have ever even medaled in an event before. None of the top four in the end did. So Nemi Vasquez going for Peru and she's looking to lift again 45. She's straight in there. This should be worth around 47 points. Worth 47.35. One minute. So her first lift is good, just as it was in the heats, and she gets 47.35 for that. Nice score. According to the AH formula, will qualify to the final match. And the second team will qualify to the third place match. Well, so long as they get all the lifts, then... Team United Arab Emirates, Mohammed Al Khamis Khalaf. Chances are good. Champion, the hero, mix this around. The United Arab Emirates. So Mohamed Kamis Kalaf is coming in first. And he's going for 200 here. And this is going to be worth 180. Let's do it again. And it would be a significant early lead for the UAE. So they're going in very high here. Very, very high. Easy. Bismillah. Batal. Mohamed Kamis Kalaf, the reigning Paralympic champion, world silver medalist in 2017. Twice. Paralympic champion. UAE's first ever Paralympic gold medalist in any sport this would be a huge lead 180 to 47 for Peru but they've got a couple of big men to come and Mohamed Khalis Khalaf to lose it so they're on 180 points and the lead is considerable
Shoulders, please. Load the bar to 72 kilograms. His pay is going to come for 150 next. Now he lifted 121 last time, so it's interesting he's going to go for that. It's 115 his target. You see 72 the target for Alzud. What Kispe is aiming for is 126.99, so 127 points basically. Alzud is gunning for 74.44. So if they both get this, then the UAE will lead by 80 points going into the final round. So first of all, it is Moza al Zayudi for the UAE. If she gets this, it'll be a lead of over 200 points. But Peru will have a lift in hand. Moza al Zayudi for the UAE. If this pays off and if they actually win this, this could be a really good strategy from now on for everybody she's the west asian games champion reigning west asian games champion gold at 2019 pb of 80 kg to win that gold going for 72 here which is very manageable she has got it she picks up 74 points for it 254 points in total for the UAE and Peru have got 47. They need the last two lifts to come. It puts a lot of pressure onto Peru. And if that's what the UAE were planning on, that is an immensely brilliant strategy. They lead by 207 points. The ball is loaded for their second attempt. Representing Team Peru, Diego Quispe. Come on, Diego. Diego Quispe coming out, aiming for 115. With 115 kilograms. And that'll be 127 points all told. Diego Kispe, sixth in the Pan Ams, based in Lima, coached by Neolana Suarez, former footballer. So this to keep the competition going for them. And he has two out of three in his favor. That was a bit tentative. So 254 for the United Arab Emirates and 174 for Peru. The gap is 80. And the UAE are pinning everything now on Saif Al Zabi. They are very inspiring. They are the best in the world. La creme de la creme. So, Garcia Chavez is aiming for 140, Al Zabi for 150. So, if Garcia Chavez gets it, he's going for 149 points. It's about teamwork between these 
boys and girls, the three teammates try their best to qualify for the following round at the bar. Al Sabi's attempt at 150 kilos will be worth 149 points. Neil Garcia Trellis. So Neil Garcia Trellis Neils needs this. Come on. Going for 140, which is worth 149 points. So if he gets this, Peru are in the lead with one lift to go. It will send Peru up to 323 points compared to the US, UAE's 254. And this is worth 149 points. So, if he misses this, then it is all over and the UAE are through anyway. And he's missed it! And the United Arab Emirates are through to the final! can still do better for the bronze medal of this event. They finish on 174. He's going out of this match with 174 points. Congratulations to you, Team UAE. Who are still in the competition. They still have one more attempt. The United Arab Emirates have one lift to go, but they have 80 more points already. And the lift was missed. He will do the third place match. By Trellis, so it is Peru against Colombia in the bronze medal match, and the final will be between Chile and the United Arab Emirates. The body is loaded for the third and last attempt. Well, that's quite something. And if this is successful for Saeed Al Zabi, they get 149 points for this lift, and they'll be on 403.66. So for Zabi, the West Asian Games champion in 2017. At his best championship result. He's been seventh in the Asian Games before, seventh in the Asia Oceania Championships last time out in Kitakishu. So this for 150 kilos, 149 points to wrap up the competition, and it is a good lift. The United Arab Emirates are in the final with 403 points. It's been a route, 403 compared to 174. Chile had won their semi-final, 477 to 182. Colombia had missed two lifts. Peru only won. They were trying to put pressure on the UAE. If only they got the last successful lift, that pressure would have been on and they'd have had a chance of reaching the final. But the bronze medal match, that's the margin without the final lift in of Al Zabi. But it was around 403 to 174, and the UAE are in final the final.
United Arab Emirates and Team Chile. Like elegance, 
competed in like 22 competitions. Just one silver medal, the first one. But the most women that they like it. Because if I got the gold at the first, maybe I would think in this way. Your sport is not is easy. I competed for the first time and get gold. So it's easy. I will not train more. So I will go down. But when I got silver, I know it's difficult. Three times. Attention coaches, five minutes remaining for the selection of the athletes. Lift order and first attempt.
Ladies and gentlemen, we will start shortly with the third position match between Team Colombia and Team Peru. It will be followed by the final match between Team United Arab Emirates and Team Chile. Ladies and gentlemen, the teams competing in the mixed team match, third place representing
Team Colombia, Fabio Torres, Francisco Tulio, Palomeque Palacios, and Cristina Pablador Granados. Big applause for the team coming in the team event, third place. Gentlemen, the teams competing in the mix of team match final. Watching the semi and missed that, unfortunately. The final will be between Chile and the United Arab Emirates. Representing Chile, Camila Campos, Jorge Carinao, and Juan Carlos Garrido. Camila Campos, Jorge Carinao, Juan Carlos Garrido with Chile. It will be Moza Al Ziyudi, Saif Al Zabi, and Mohamed Khalis Kala for the UAE in the decider. Colombia with Poblador, Palameque, Torres in the bronze medal match. Peru with Nomi Vasquez, Neil Garcia, Trellis, and Diego Quispe again. And the final match. Chief referee from Finland, Charlie Lane. See the referees being chosen. From Romania, Maria Melea. Nuri Lane and Maria Malaya, two of the referees. Right side referee from Greece, Iliana Raka. So we have our referee selected. Line. Maria Melea, Eliana Araka are referees. There is no jury in the team competition. So the bronze medal match about to get underway then between Colombia and Peru. And it will be Nomi Vasquez to come out first. And she's aiming for 40 kilos in this. That would be worth 42 points, 42.09. Can be the 
the bronze medalist of the Mexican event. Vasquez has had two successful lifts so far at 45. Aiming for 40 here, which is interesting. So to clear and to start off. Oh, she's missed it. Well, okay, I can see why she went for a lower target then. Wasn't confident, didn't get it. Misses out, two to one against. You would be back at the competition. Loader split load apart to 75 kilograms. Track height three. She didn't get it. Well, that gives the initiative to Colombia, no doubt about it. Their first attempt representing Team Colombia, Cristina Poblador Granados. Vamos, Cristina. Cristina Poblador. He's going for 75 kilos. You'll go back to Bogota with the bronze medal. If you win my best match, you can win it. This is for 89 points. 75 kilograms, easy one. Do it. So, Cristina Poblador for Colombia. She's already lifted 80 and 90. But again, going really conservative here. Colombian champion from Bogota she is where the Americas was held three years ago where she won the gold and she's got that 75 it's uh, white out three out of three so 89.17 Colombia lead 89 to 42 That was missed by Vasquez. That's if she got it. So it's 89 nil. Kispe is going for 115. That would be worth 126 points, and they really need that. This is what he lifted in the previous round. Yes, you are smiling. You can make it. Easy one. Vamos. That one put lifted 121 though in the heat. 115 kilograms. Do it. You'll go back to Lima with a bronze medal. Do it. Diego. So for 115 kilos worth 127 points, 126.99, but yeah, 127. Uh, boy, do they need this having missed their opening lift. And they've got that. So it's 127 on the board for them. They really, really needed that. They lead by 127 to 89. Peru is back in the competition, 128 points. 
But Columbia have a lift in hand. And it should be Francisco Palameke next. Francisco Palameke. Now this is interesting, he went for 195 in the semi-final and got it, but he's going for 170 here. And that I think can only be because Peru have missed one. This is worth 159 points. And they would lead almost by double scores. It would be 248 to 127 if he gets yes, this. With 159.25 points. And that could be the only reason why he's gone for that. Went for 185 in the heats, 195 in the semis. Now 170 in this bronze medal match. That's where the tactics come in. This would be invaluable. There'll still be a final round to come. He's got it! Palameke successful. And the lead for Colombia is now 248 to 126. And if they get their final lift, then Colombia win. A lot of action, a lot of excitement on the stage this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And Peru very much on the back foot. Neil Garcia Trellis needs this, and how? Come on, Neil, vamos. Going for 135 kilos. You can make it this time. You will take the bronze medal with you to Lima. So this worth 144 points. And if he gets this, they go up to 271. They would overtake. Colombia, Colombia with the final to come. Neil Garcia Trellez missed. For Peru in the semi final, lifting 140. So going conservatively at 135 here. Needs this to keep the semi final alive. Important push through. No, it's okay, no he's missed it. 
And Colombia get the bronze. And Peru are denied. They missed two of their lifts. Precisely what happened to Colombia in their semi final. So Colombia have won the bronze medal match with one lift to spare. And ironically, he got his heaviest lift of the day, 145 in the heats. Then went 140, missed that. In the semi-final, went 135 in the bronze medal match and missed that. So they left on 127 points, basically. 126.99. And Colombia have won the bronze. So Torres can skip if he wants. Fabio Torres. And the press weather is going to Bogota tonight. Fabio Torres. This will be worth 172 points. It is academic. They would end up with 420 in total to Peru's 126. The bronze is going to Bogota. Vamos, Fabio. Los Chentos. Easy. It's Colombia's first medal in a team event. It's only the fourth time it's been run in the Worlds in 2019. Egypt won it. Brazil with the silver. Ukraine won the bronze medal match in Manchester in March. Yes. In their World Cup event, Uzbekistan won ahead of Ukraine and France. And in Tbilisi, a few weeks ago, Uzbekistan won again ahead of Brazil and Can Hungary. You take the bronze medal with you back home to Bogota? Colombia had finished second in the heats. Peru had finished fourth. Colombia being beaten in the semi final by Chile. 420.89. Good! That lift of 200 is good then. And Colombia, three for three in this bronze medal match. As they score 420.89 compared to Peru's 126.99. So even if Garcia Chavez had succeeded, it would have put a little bit of pressure on Torres, but there was absolutely none from going into it. So able to aim low, 200, have been cleared 220 and 225 in the previous rounds. And now we await the final. This is the final match, ladies and gentlemen. The winner will be the gold medalist of the Team Mexican event this afternoon. So Chile the against the UAE to decide the who wins the, the gold. The ball is loaded for their first attempt representing Team United Arab Emirates, Moza Ziyuti. Yalla Moza. Yalla Moza. 74 kilograms. Moza Al Ziyudi aiming for 74 kg. This would be worth 76 points. She lifted 70 and 72 in the first two rounds ahead of this final. So you can see her progress. Al Ziyudi, 74, to give the United Arab Emirates a foundation. Oh, it was raggedy in the way up. And you can see the issues, chest sequence okay. and press sequence. So, she and the UAE remain on zero. Please 
So a miss straight away. Chile could play this quite calmly then. So Camilla Campos. It's already lifted 105 twice. Is going for 100 here because she knows it will be worth a good amount of points. It's worth 101. They'd open up a strong early lead. If she's gone for 105, that'll be worth just about 107 points. Which would be obviously an even tighter advantage, but she does want to make this. No point taking unnecessary risks. That's good. White out three out of three. And the lead is 101 points to nil in favor of Chile in this final. They haven't missed a single lift yet. Seven out of seven they've had. The one missed by Elsa Udi there was the first by the UAE in the competition. The Emirates playing catch up. That's the tally. Campus successful, Al Zayudi unsuccessful. So Saif Al Zabi going for 151 now. He's had to go bigger. He's scored with 149 and 150 so far. This will be worth 166 what points. Sure, that's right, actually. Yeah, 150. Quick recalculation 151 kg. But his body weight is 150. 151 on the bar. This to take the lead. The gold medal will stay here in Dubai or will go to Santiago today. Who will be the winner of the gold medal? Come on, Saif, you can make it. So for 151 kg and 150 points to take the lead. Easy. In this second round of lifts of the three. has to get this he has got it two one against and the one against was for the press sequence so the lead for the united arab emirates is 150 to 101 that was basically to keep the competition alive because if chile had scored with their next one it would be all over and it still can be all over Uh, Jorge Caranao gets this, it puts immense pressure anyway on the UAE for the final round and their ace champion lifter. Jorge Caranao going for 165, now that's down a bit from previous efforts where he went for 170 and 173 in the semi-final. This will be worth 176 points. Them 278 to 150 ahead, and UAE would need to get the last one. It's 
still have a chance. So the second lift for Chile for Jorge Carinao. He has it! White out three out of three. 278 to 150 is Chile's lead with one lift remaining each. And considering that is Mohamed Kelly's Kilaf for the UAE. And it will probably be an immense lift. They definitely need their third one to be good. The third attempt, ladies and gentlemen, will decide who will be the winner of this final match. It's still open. It will be Team United Arab Emirates or Team Chile. Chile is leading at the moment. The gap is 128. And in the two previous rounds, Mohamed Khalis Khalaf has gone for lifts of 200, worth 180 points for his weight division. 278 points for Chile at the moment. And the United Arab Emirates in second place with 150 points. The last attempt will decide who will be the gold medalist of this match. So where is Mohamed Khalis Khalaf? So Mohamed Khalis Khalaf is back on, having lifted 200 in the two previous rounds, and he's going for 160 here. So see what they're doing. This for 144 points, and they would take the lead with one lift to go. So he's lifted 200 twice, they've missed one. He doesn't want to risk missing another one. So this will put the United Arab Emirates in front with one lift remaining in the competition for Juan Carlos Garrido and Chile are going to have to win it. Should this be successful? He's got it! They lead by 16 points. 160 he's got. 144 points added on. They go to 294. Chile are on 278 with one lift to go. He could have gone for 200 again and got it and had a 50 or a 60 point lead and make Chile really fight for it. So Chile have one lift to come, they trail by 16 and basically any weight at this stage will do from around 25 on I reckon. For 
the third attempt, the last attempt to win the gold medal representing Team Chile, Juan Carlos Garrido. Well, Juan Carlos Garrido has cleared 170 and 173 so far. Juan Carlos. Any weight will do this. He's gone for 165, he's aimed down. Something that he should be able to lift. This will be worth 177 points and it would be a wide margin of almost 160 points if they'll have won by. For the gold. a mass by the UAE. Chile currently on 278 but this to put them up to 455 and to win Chile the gold. Juan Carlos Garrido. Pushes up, all he needs is to see a bit of white and the green lights, the big ones, and that's it. Chile take the gold. 455 points to 294. It was hard luck on that miss from Musa Al Ziyudi. It would have put a bit of pressure on anyway. Events 455 they've gotten a couple of what ifs if uh, Mohamed Khalis Khalaf had gone for 200 again and if al had been successful they'd have had 406 points it wouldn't have been enough Chile go three for three they were quite conservative frankly compared to the lifts in the semi-final and Chile take the gold beating the United Arab Emirates in the final by 455 to 294. Thank you to World Para Powerlifting Management for their hard work. A special thank you to the volunteering technical officials and classifiers. There will be the final victory ceremony for this to come, but it has been a tremendous week. World records here again in Dubai ahead of Tokyo 2020. Rules and regulations of the sport are observed. And in place at the end of, of August, the, the Paralympic Games Paralympic and the World Championships beginning the 1st of December, Edgar in Hungary for 10 days. It's been a very, very good six days. But also to those who achieved their personal best here in Dubai this week. We wish you all a safe journey back home and we are looking forward to welcoming you again in Dubai World Cup in 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. The victory ceremony of the Spixit team will take place shortly.
ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Mixed Team events. Please welcome the medalists. So the victory ceremony for the mixed team event. That was the first time that the all four who had progressed out of the heat had actually been in the latter stages of a mixed team event. Peru finished in fourth, losing the bronze medal match to Colombia. Fabio Torres, Francisco Palameque, and Cristina Poblador. They scored 420 points to Peru's 126. They were decreasing circles for Peru, who scored 335 to weigh in at fourth at the end of the opening round. Nigeria, Kyrgyzstan, Cuba, and Venezuela all missed the lift and had each of them scored any of them had scored they would have been in the position of Peru in the semis Colombia beating them with 420 United Arab Emirates reaching the final and being beaten by Chile who scored 455 overall the high score was in the semi-final 477 odd points, 455 in the decider, because they all went conservative, they all went down from their semi final marks instead of going up. And the reason for that was because of the opening list by Moza, Al Zayudi. And as it was, even if they got that mark and Calaf had gone big, then they still wouldn't have beaten Chile. Here's their anthem. The first time that Chile have won a team competition. Egypt are the world champions. They didn't enter this competition. Uzbekistan won the two previous World Cup events. And that's another good success for Campos, Caranao, and Corrida. So that's the Dubai World Cup 2021 Para Powerlifting World Cup done. Next up, the Paralympic Games in Tokyo. The powerlifting from the 26th to the 30th of August. Then from the 1st to the 9th of December. The World Championships being held in Eger in Hungary.
for 2022 coming. African Open Championships in March or April. Asia Oceania Championships in Pontaic in Korea in June. America's Open Championships on in Chesterfield, USA at the edge of St. Louis in July. Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, one day event the 4th of August. European Open Championships in Tbilisi and Georgia in September and a couple of days after that the Asian Para Games. Hangzhou in China. One final piece of silverware to be awarded is the team trophy. By His Excellency Majid Al Husseini, the general manager of uh, the organizing committee. To the representative of Team China, congratulations. Chinese team won the overall China. points for this uh, World Cup. Have scored a marvelous team success here. Thank you to His Excellency Majid Al Asimi, General Manager of FASA Organizing Committee. And a bit of uh, news on that. Thank you again. World Championships uh, later this year. They're actually moving from Omega and they're going to Georgia to Batumi. 27th of November to the 5th of December. That's just it. The best of the best powerlifters. And Georgia also due to have the Europeans next year. Thank you again. And looking forward to place it that will be held in September. For Dubai World Cup. Twenty seventh of November, the new date for the Worlds. Move to Georgia. Same city held the European Weightlifting Championships in twenty nineteen, that the able bodied event. <laughs> 